dear students let's solve the problem from differentiability the problem is differentiate the functions with respect to x the question is sin of x square plus 5 solution given let us take y the term y equal to write the given problem sin of x square plus 5 we can take any letter here i take the term y usually we can take y then we have to differentiate with respect to x you get dy by dx so then if you want you take a or s or anything also so here i take y equal to sin of x square plus 5 next we are going to differentiate with respect to x so differentiate with respect to x now we get x means both side just you are going to add dy by dx so see dy dx this is called the differentiation with respect to x x means in the bottom you have dx so in both side i copy the same thing i'm copy the term same thing i copy it and just i put dy by dx on both side so y equal to sin of x square plus 5 both side is just just uh, dy d by dx here also d by dx so now if we differentiate we get the term in the left side just we combine together all dy by dx equal to here we apply the formula what is the formula for differentiation of sin x we have assumed that this is the form of sin of theta what is the formula for sin theta d of sin theta equal to your formula differentiation of sin theta equal to your formula is cos theta so the same formula i apply here so sin of x square plus 5 equal to differentiate you get cos of x square plus 5 you consider this is sin theta the whole term is the this term is fully called theta so sin theta differentiation of sin is cos theta so just you differentiate you get cos theta so after we cancel the term because we differentiate already so this can be written as cos of theta your theta value x square plus 5 then you should not stop that again you consider inside cos what is that inside you just check it inside the term again you differentiate with respect to x so again you differentiate means d by dx d by dx means differentiate with respect to x the bottom term x so with respect to x differentiation of what is the inside term bracket term x square plus 5 now what do you do again you differentiate the whole term this term fully differentiate with respect to x this term doesn't change you just copy it so remaining we get dy by dx uh, equal to cos of x square plus 5 into now you differentiate x square what is that formula for x to the power n differentiation of x to the power n formula n into x power n minus 1 the same way you differentiate x square plus 5 you get x square x square equal to n x power n minus 1 here n is equal to 2 so formula 2 into x to the power 2 minus 1 equal to 2 into x to the power 2 minus 1 1 so after differentiation you get 2x plus 5 is there differentiation of 5 what is differentiation of 5 differentiation of any constant equal to 0 so here also you differentiate the number 5 0 so differentiation of x square is the first term differentiation is 2x the second term is totally 5 So once you differentiate, write the all the terms in the nearby. So two x plus five. Now what you do? Just you multiple. Sorry, two x plus zero. Differentiation of constant is zero. So two x plus zero. Now we are adding both. What do you get? Two x plus zero equal to two x only. So after adding, you get the term 
dy by dx equal to cos of x square plus 5 into 2x. You just copy the 2x in the front term. Now you get dy by dx equal to 2x into cos of x square plus 5. So this is your final answer. Thank you.